hearts with their treasure and the ailing child in tow, unfurl their sails and set a course for distant Gathalotio. The fleet birthed at many towns along the way, unwittingly sowing the seeds of death at Damn. every port of call. Only when they landed on their third continent did dire tidings reach the ears of the sailors. The first port they had docked at was in the grip of a terrible plague. Faced with a crisis and with morale low, greed, your father, you, made a decision. He gave every sailor in the fleet a flagon of rum. Rum filled with poison. What? The men died. One after the next. Their ships, their treasure, the poor girl and her dear grandfather, all were swallowed by the waves. Damn. Perhaps the church had ordered that Eternia alone be spared. Who can say for sure? What we do know is that greed, and greed alone, made a triumphant return to Gathalotio. Though he had lost nearly his entire fleet, he had salvaged treasure enough to fill the church's coffers. He became a man of great standing in the church's hierarchy, and the very next year was blessed with his firstborn son. Danny. My brother. That's crazy. Yes. It was not long after this that the dark hand of the plague came to Eternia. But here, why not read for yourself your father's words? She's giving us notes. We should probably be able to read them. I want to try. You have faced two truths. Have the courage have to face another? Have you the courage to face another? I await you in the halls above. That's crazy. So you just fi finding out pretty much his father was scum. I guess. Um, it would probably be in used diary, right? I assume. Oh yeah, these are Greed's locks. By all accounts, she's the granddaughter of our holy patron who arranged for our entire fleet. Her age, pedigree, and the quickness. Mine. I'll command. Locate, explore, and report on the ancient shrines. Damn, there's so much to read on it. Okay. I moved the spirit within the girl's body, but it would take us three months to have... to move all the abundant riches within the shrine. To the shore in a further two months to have it all ready. The statue of Kuhulain. Well, like, I feel like. Yeah, I can turn the page like this. Okay. Not all were pleased by my appointment yet. Shrine in, mer in mere weeks. Change their tunes. It was not divine providence that led us here, nor even the power of the crystals. I need the location of the ancient shrine. Founder, the first head of the great genealogy family, left clear precepts behind him. Upon his passing, these rules designed to preserve the family's position and influence among the orthodoxy. How to be an admirable ruler is not all founder left for his progeny. Which the orthodoxy wishes to claim for their own treasury. Weighs so heavily upon the ship chosen to bear it that it seems likely to sink. The fleet departed that our young guest fell ill. The girl came down with a sudden fever of unknown origins. Her grandfather, our financier, is against us sailing on and will not be persuaded by me. But I have spent days trying to get him to see reason. I sense that we are being manipulated by some force within the shadows. I made my plea to the church's upper echelons, begging leave to transport transport the girl and our goods back home, but I fear my enemy struck there as well. The heads of the church are unable or unwilling to give me a direct answer. I have decreed that some exorcists be sent to meet us. Geist, a man probably with the masses, has been tasked. <laughs> Must see the outcome of 
service ceremonies, some compromise. You guys can read it, by the way. I'm just, I'm, I'm reading it, but I'm kind of skimming. First, tell us that the actress's guys dispatched to us by the Orthodox. He seems to have set out. This young Bishop Brave, as well as Norzin. Huh. See what other truth she has to lay on us. I mean, the most we can get from this is most of the adults in this game are just asses. You're really terrible people, apparently. But that doesn't mean that the future has to be like that. I mean, like, with people like Tiz and you to lead, it should be fine. Right? You do take your time. You have read your father's words, I trust? Very well. I shall share with you the third truth. This is the story. The true untold story. Of the Great Plague. <clears throat> The first deaths were in the eastern reaches of Eternia, in a sleepy border village. The mourners grieved for their loved ones, their wails echoing through the mountains. Eventually, the cries faded away, and a stillness settled over the land. From the depths of time it had found us. The world we feared most had become reality. As death lay heavy on the land, a young priest named Brave petitioned his elders. 
He sought to use the power.